My name is uh, Sudhir Miramanda. I'm a program manager over here on the Office Platform team. I am super excited to be here talking about the new uh, Chromium-based Edge WebView 2 runtime for Office add-ins. If you've been on the call over the past many months, you've probably heard me talk about the Edge Spartan or the Edge WebView 1 control that we released. I believe that was, uh, was that sometime last year. I think it was around April, May timeframe last year. So. Um, Again, we've been busy over the past uh, year, year and a half or so, working on the Chromium version of the WebView 2. And again, we're here at this point where uh, I think we're ready to take that next step. But certainly we need a bunch of help from you folks to make sure that your add-ins and your scenarios are working in this new Edge WebView 2 uh, before we can actually release this out to production. So just a quick history first before, uh, before I give you some details on how you can go in and help us. First and foremost, these are the three different runtimes that we currently use on Windows for running your Office add-in. Of course, Internet Explorer or Trident. Uh, that's the default browser control on um, most of the, the Windows operating systems, 7, 8, and 10 um, at this point. Uh, for Windows 10, IE is the default uh, runtime or the default web control until uh, Windows version 19.02. I just want to point out that we're still seeing a bunch of launches uh, using the um, IE runtime, meaning we, we still have a number of users that are using Windows 7 or Windows, Windows 8 or older versions of Windows 10 uh, to launch Office and then launch um, Office add-ins on, on those computers. So just uh, just want, to, want you to be mindful of uh, sort of supporting those users and supporting those configurations with your uh, for your add-in. The second one is, as I talked about, the one in the middle. That's the uh, the Edge Spartan. Uh, that's sort of the that's sort of the uh, the code name that we have internally, or the Edge Web View, if you will. That's uh, that has been our default browser control with Office 365, that version number that you see on the screen, as well as Windows 10 and 1903. Again, that was the spring release of 2019, I believe. And uh, the one that's coming up right now, of course, is Edge WebView 2. Uh, the current plan is to ship this to all versions of Windows. So this, this browser control will be available for all uh, Windows 7 and Windows 8 and Windows 10 versions. So you will, you will have that available over there. Of course, you will need the latest Office 365 uh, to be integrated with that control. So as long as you have uh, the latest and greatest Office uh, 365 version, uh, and any version of Windows, if you will, that has the uh, the, the WebView 2 uh, control, we will be able to support Office add-ins on um, the Edge WebView 2. And just as a quick note, because we have multiple of these web controls available to us, if for whatever reason a uh, a machine does not have, for example, the uh, the Edge WebView 2 uh, web control, we will fall back to either the Edge WebView 1 or Trident or Internet Explorer, if you will, based on what's available on that computer. So your add-in will still run. I uh, just want to make sure you understand that we will we, we fall back based on the control that's the, the, the most up-to-date control that's available on that machine. Okay. So um, so just a quick note, I think most, if not all of you know about WebView 2. Of course, this is uh, the latest and greatest Microsoft Edge browser-based web control. This is Chromium-based. This is the open uh, source software-based uh, web control. Um, as I mentioned, this is going to be consistent across um, all Windows versions. One of the cool things about this new browser and the web control is that this is going to be updated out of band uh, from Windows or Office updates. So as and when there's a new patch or a, or a fix or whatever it is in the open source software, we will ensure that that, that fix gets out to all the computers out in the, in the world as soon as possible. I think there's going to be a bit of delay, uh, but certainly we're going to uh, minimize that uh, that gap as much as possible and get this out of band for Windows or Office updates. It's going to be available across any application for you, of course, a Win32 application or the universal applications on Windows. Of course, our we're, what we're talking about over here is, is purely the, the Win32 aspect of integration with the WebView 2 control. Uh, and again, as I said, uh, last but not the least, this is something that's going to be always up to date, as in that is sort of the default setting for WebView 2 on all Windows machines uh, moving forward. Okay, so let's see, call to action. So this is this is where we are. Today, as of right now, uh, we are not available in the Insider's fast ring as yet. Uh, but we are looking to get there very, very quickly, hopefully in the next week uh, or maybe a week and a half. 
This is the, the version number that you'll see. Uh, that's, the, that's our May fork of Office 365, the 16.0 13001. That version plus will contain uh, the integration uh, with Edge WebView 2 being the runtime for Office items. And again, that's only going to be available in Insiders Fast starting about a week or a week and a half. So just definitely keep, keep on the lookout for it. Uh, and as soon as that, that's available, just remember that um, as long as you're in the Insiders Fast ring, your Office Saturn is going to start running on the, uh, the Edge Web U2 runtime. And the way you know that it's running on the Edge Web U2 runtime is if you open the taskbar, if you don't have any browsers open, you will see msedge.exe being the process that's running your add-in, if you will. That's how you know that um, your add-in is running in Web U2. And by the way, that's just that screenshot that I have over there on the screen showing msedge.exe being the process that's running um, your Office add-in. You will need to be a part of it, Office Insiders. I think uh, most, if not all of you, are already part of Office Insiders to get these builds. Um, if you're not, there's a link that I have out there for you to go in and join. Should be a fairly simple, straightforward process. Number two, very important, you need uh, the dev or canary channel of um, the, the Edge browser. So make sure to go out and get there. I believe the link is microsoftedgeinsider.com and you can choose your channel from there and, and, and install the browser. This is, uh, this is very important. This is the only place where you will have uh, the web control available. Do remember, again, I'm probably preaching to the choir over here, but do remember that the browser is different from the web control. The, the web control is the thing that powers the browser. Uh, so you need the dev or the canary channel over here for that web control. Moving forward, we are looking to separate the web control from the browser itself. So you will, I will likely be over here on this call next month or the month after and ask you to download a different executable, a different process uh, to actually get the web control. Just sort of keep that in mind. But for now, uh, get the dev or the canary channel and uh, you should be good to go with the, with the new WebView 2 control. But most importantly, the third bullet, uh, test and validate your add-in, test, test auth, test all the, the corner scenarios of your add-in, and give us feedback um, on this. Like we, we need to know that all of your add-ins are working as is uh, before we, we get this out to the production rings. Uh, and of course, I do have a, a GitHub sort of an area over there for you if you run into any issues or if you run into any um, any sort of a problem uh, running on Edge Web YouTube for your add-in. If you can't select the area, um, if you wouldn't mind just sort of uh, either putting Web View 2 in the title of your issue or something like that, that'll just help us categorize it easier and better. Uh, and last but not the least, debugging. I know Courtney talked about a bunch of debugging. Um, I'll say a couple of things. With the Web View 2, um, you should be able to right click inspect your add in right away, right, right then and there. So you, if you open your task pane, just sort of right click on your, uh, within your task pane, within your add in task pane. And there should be an, uh, um, an option over there to inspect, uh, which is a great way to debug. Or you can get the latest Visual Studio 16.6 uh, Plus uh, that, uh, that, that has the debugging built in for Edge Web View 2. Okay. So that's all I have. Uh, again, I don't I don't have any fancy demos today because really it's we're changing the the engine that's running your add-in, so it, everything is is working as is. I will likely do a demo or two next month with a couple of additional features that we're working on from a WebView two standpoint. But for now, I'll pause and see if there are any questions or or comments on this. Yeah, there there's a question for. Context, uh, someone's asking, why is the browser and the web control separate? Why is the browser and web control separate? So, so a couple of reasons. One is we want to make sure that we rev the web control much, you know, in a, at a different cadence than the browser. That's sort of one reason. Because we, there are a number of partners that the Edge team has in terms of uh, the people who integrate with, with their control. And the requirements of, of those folks is a little different from the browser itself, uh, which is why think separating them seemed like the best direction to, to move forward. So that's a, so that's one of the, the core reasons to sort of uh, separate them. Number two, we want to make sure that the WebView 2 is a uh, core component of the operating system. We, uh, we can't force people to install the browser, quote unquote force, if you will, but certainly requiring WebView 2 as a, as a, as a component of the OS will be required moving forward because there are, there are a number of features that are going to be dependent on WebView 2, 
as well as, of course, your scenarios like office items that are dependent on um, Edge Web YouTube. Does that make sense? Yeah, uh, sounds great. Thank you, Sudhir. We've also had some questions around the manifest version. I know you're like one of the, the resident experts on, on the manifest, but discussion about if there's a way to get the manifest version number uh, through Office JS. It doesn't sound like there's that today, but is that something we're maybe exploring in the future or is there a workaround? That is a good question. So uh, we so sort of switched gears to manifest. So you want to be able to get the version number of your add-in in, in the manifest using some sort of an Office JS API. I will have to take that feedback uh, and, and figure out how to do that. That is not something that we're allowed to do using the Office JS APIs today. Okay, awesome. anything else? Right. Uh, just scrolling through the questions over here, Alex, to see if there's any anything else that I missed. I believe that's all. Um, but yeah, we're excited to see your demos and upcoming calls. And thank you so much for, for giving us this heads up. Awesome, thank you. Cool. All right, thank you. And yeah, uh, please, please, please go out and, and test with this new web view. Uh, if you find any issues, uh, raise them on yeah, the Office JS GitHub. Uh, that'll help us make sure we don't yeah, break everyone's add-in when this rolls out in full. So uh, we've been pasting links into the Office Insiders and Edge Canary build into the chat. Please get out there, let us know if you have any feedback or any concerns. Mm -hmm.